Hello everyone, my name is Ari Trooper and welcome back to a, another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install a custom loading screen into your guys' 5M server. All you guys are going to want to do is hit the first link down in the description below and that will bring you guys right here to the 5MLSM.com website. So hit that link and then make sure you guys create an account in the top right hand corner. If you already have an account then log in and then click go to the dashboard. And all you guys are going to want to do is click add new and create your first loading screen. Now it's pretty simple from here. It's pretty self-explanatory. So all you guys are going to want to do is customize it however you want. You can change the background from solid color. You can change the primary color, the font color. You can change the font, all the corners, how round they are and stuff like that. You can also add some music. You can add background videos from YouTube. You can choose a different layout if you guys want. So we just wanted a more basic one like this. Then you can also do that. And all you guys would need to do to change the font is just change it like this. So for my server HD network, link down in the description below if you guys want to play on that. Then you just click on it and then type in whatever you want. And obviously you can change your server logo right here just by clicking on it and it will ask you to change the image. So other than that, it's pretty simple. All you guys are going to want to do once you've customized it how you want is click save changes. And then all you guys are going to want to do is find the button to install it. So head back out of here and you should be able to see install on your server. So we're just going to click that. And then we're going to click this one right here, download loading screen, and it should automatically pop up with a little automatically generated zip folder. And this is going to be what we install to our 5M server. So obviously our next steps is going to be finding our 5M server. I'm assuring most of you guys know where you install your own 5M server too. If you don't, then make sure you scroll through, you know, usually if you guys watch my tutorials, I put it either on my documents or in my C drives. So make sure you guys look in there, find your 5M server, open up your TX data and CFX default folder, and then go into your resources. Now you guys can see I already have this here. So I'll just delete this for the sake of the video. And all you guys are going to want to do is grab this 5M LSM and then very simply drag and drop it into your resources folder. Now, since we're not going to be installing any different loading screens, it's probably not worth making a subfolder like we usually do for mods because there's not going to be more than one loading screen. So usually anything like that, I just put it in the base resources folder. Once you guys have done that, all you guys want to do is left click and copy and paste the name into our server.cfg. So copy the name, go back to our CFX default folder and open up our server.cfg. And once you guys have done that, all you guys are going to want to do, you can see I already have a subcategory for my loading screen. So you guys can do that just by hitting enter and doing two hashtags and then write the word loading or loading screen, whatever you guys want. Two hashtags basically means that your server.cfg will not read it as a line of code. So you can put anything after it if you want to organize your server. If you guys can see here, if you watch any of my tutorials, I always teach you guys how to do this just to make sure that you're keeping your server nice and organized. If in case you have any devs or any friends trying to look at the server, they know exactly where everything is and also yourself if you get what something is. So all you guys need to do after doing that is type ensure, not in all capitals, ensure or start, it's up to you, either works and then paste in the name of our mod. Hit file and then save and close your server.cfg and all you guys are going to need to do is start up your 5M server. Now there is one thing I do want to make clear, if you open up your server.c actually, server.cfg even, you need to make sure that this loading screen starts after 5PD. If you have 5PD installed, make sure it starts afterwards. Otherwise, you will still get the base 5PD loading screen. So if you do have 5PD, just start it afterwards on your server.cfg and everything should work fine. But like I said, let's start up our server and see everything working. And now, as you guys can see, the exact same loading screen that we made on the website and drag and dropped into our resources folder is now our fully functioning and working loading screen. If you guys ever want to go back and edit that, you don't have to drag and drop it again. You can just go back on the website, edit it, and it all works through HTML. So as soon as you edit it, it will actively edit it in your guys' resources folder. So no having to replace it for every single change. Really, really great loading screen. Good customization. If you guys want more customization features, you can buy a premium version from them. It's kind of up to you whether you do it or not. I don't because personally, I don't mind the free ones but if you guys do buy the premium one then you also get rid of the watermark i'm not affiliated with them or anything so that's your guys's choice but i am affiliated with zap hosting so be sure to check them out down in the description below if you guys are looking for a 5m server or a minecraft server literally pretty much any game server in the world including a vps a windows or linux vps if you guys are in the market for one of those then be sure to check them out down in the description below they do really really good prices really really cheap and they're super reliable with one of the best user friendly interfaces ever so be sure to check them out down in the description below or the info card in the top right hand corner and other than that i'll see all of you guys in the next video cheers and goodbye